when to vote. The polling station opens at 06 hours and closes at 18 hours. Note that voters can vote at any time of the day as long as it is between these hours. Don't forget your voter's card and green national registration card, otherwise you cannot vote. Topic 7 The voting process or polling station layout Streams and queuing Some polling stations have two or more streams depending on the number of voters. Streams are divided according to the names of voters in alphabetical order. For example, A to N and M to Z. When a voter arrives at the polling station, they go to the entrance and check to see if there are streams. If there are streams, they will identify their stream by following the alphabetical order of names in each stream or be directed by an usher. Persons allowed in the polling station. Members and staff of ECZ, accredited monitors and observers, polling staff, accredited election agents and media, voters, candidates, voting steps, identification of streams and queuing, identification of voters, inking, issuance of ballot papers, marking of the ballot paper, Placing the ballot papers in the ballot boxes, the voter walks out of the polling station. Topic 8. Marking your ballot paper correctly. Marking. A ballot paper must be marked with X in the square to the right of the candidates of one's choice. Spoiled ballot papers. If a voter wrongly marks, spoils, or tears a ballot paper, they can ask the presiding officer for a new one or replacement. What not to do with the ballot paper? A voter shall not write their name on the ballot paper, write their signature or any mark that may identify them on the ballot paper, 
Place a mark on more than one candidate or write anything else except for the mark X. Leave the ballot paper unmarked. Remove the ballot paper from the polling station and come with the ballot paper or any other paper from outside the polling station. Topic 9. Secrecy of the ballot. No one else knows whom you have voted for. Secrecy of the vote. An election by secret ballot is where marking of the ballot paper by each voter is done in private in a polling booth and the mark does not identify the voter. Secrecy in marking your ballot paper. Individual voters mark the ballot paper in a voting booth where nobody else can see whom they are voting for. No one is expected to write his or her name, signature, or anything that would disclose their identity on the ballot paper. Note, you mark your ballot paper in private so voting is secret. Placing the ballot paper in the ballot box. After a voter has marked the ballot paper, he or she folds and put it in the correct ballot box. Voter's card number. Despite a person knowing another person's voter's card number, they cannot know or find out whom another person voted for. Topic 10. Assistance to voters with special needs. The Zambia electoral systems provide for credible elections. People that may be assisted or type of assistance. Categories of people. Expectant mothers. Types of assistance. Allowed to go to the front of a queue. Categories of people. Persons with disabilities. Types of assistance. Allowed to go to the front of a queue. May need assistance to enter the polling station. Assistance all or some aspects of voting, in particular with marking their ballot papers. Categories of people. The aged. Type of assistance allowed to go to the front of the queue. Categories of people. Illiterate. Types of assistance. Assistance with marking the ballot paper. Who can provide assistance to vote? A friend or relative that they trust and holds a green national registration card and is 18 years and above. The presiding officer for the polling station. Restrictions on providing assistance. A person is only allowed to assist one voter. Wait to be asked and not volunteer to assist. Anyone asked to help should report to the presiding officer who will explain what to do. When providing assistance, be honest and do not influence the voter's mind but do what the voter asks. Using the ballot paper jacket for the blind. The ballot paper jacket template for a blind voter is aimed at ensuring that a voter who is visually impaired makes a personal choice while maintaining the secrecy of the ballot during the voting process. Topic 11. 
Topic 11. Counting and announcement of results at the polling station. The counting of votes is closely monitored. When a polling station closes, votes are counted within the polling station. If there are streams, votes are counted separately for each stream. The votes are counted by the presiding officer and polling staff observed by the polling agents, accredited monitors, observers and media that may be present. After counting, the results are entered on the results form which is then signed by the polling agents, accredited monitors, observers and the media. They are also given a copy of the results form. The presiding officer then goes outside the polling station, announces the results and posts a copy of the result form on the wall. Topic 12. Announcement and declaration of results at the Totaling and National Results Center. Delivery of results, polling station to Totaling Center. The presiding officers take the polling results to the Totaling Center escorted by a security officer. Totaling, announcement and declaration of results at the Totaling Center. At the Totaling Center, the returning officer is responsible for adding up the results for all polling station results in his or her constituency. When all the polling station results have been added up, the returning officer declares the winners of National Assembly and Councillor elections. In case of a district with one constituency, the returning officer also declares the results for the mayoral or council chairperson elections. The returning officer also announces presidential elections results for the constituency. Transmission of results, totaling center to national results center. Results are then transmitted electronically to the national results center in Lusaka. This is done in the presence of polling agents, monitors, observers and media. Announcement and declaration of results at the National Elections Results Center. Once all presidential election results have been received from all constituencies, the commission chairperson, who is a presidential election returning officer, shall declare the presidential candidate who receives more than 50% of the valid votes cast as president-elect. Election results are transparent and closely monitored at all stages. Topic 13. Corruption in the electoral process. Corrupt practices often committed during elections. Common corrupt practices committed during elections include bribery and vote buying. The effects of corruption on the electoral process. Wrong candidates may be voted for. Candidates elected may not be those whom the electorate would have chosen in a corruption-free process. Dishonest leaders who are a threat to democracy may be voted into power. Such leaders derail development and increase the suffering of the poor. Leaders elected to power through corrupt means will do all they can to stay in power. They violate human rights damage democratic institutions and ignore the basic needs of the people. Corruption in the electoral process reduces leaders' accountability to the people and the quality of people's representation in policy making. 
selling or giving away a voter's card. Voters should safeguard their voting rights by keeping their voters' cards so that they can vote and choose their leaders. Ways of fighting corruption.